Jack Your questions are on this board. I don't know how many times I can say this. I put questions on this board and I'm gonna answer them. This sucks. How do it's the blind Q&A show where I don't know the cues. First question. Do the Yai tokens mean anything? They mean everything. You can exchange Yai tokens for more Yai tokens. There's a Twitter account dedicated to keeping track of how many Yai tokens people have and it's awesome. No, I don't run it. I'm not smart enough to, but someone does and it's beautiful. And guess what, red eight numbers? You just won yourself a Yai token. Just one. Maybe you can purchase one more number for your stupid Twitter username. Good question. <laughs> Sandy the Ice Cream Man. Thoughts on Loki? My thought is I haven't seen it yet. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm just waiting for the general consensus of the whole season to come out before I decide to spend my valuable time binging this show. Shortly after this, tragedy struck. Our dumb little dog Chipwitch was scooting around her bone just like this, and she hit the tripod, which jostled my camera mic in such a way that it made the audio for the rest of this take unusable. Listen. It's like this for 20 minutes. Thankfully, it only affects four out of the 14 questions, but you'll never know what my answers were. Also, Chipwitch is now for sale. Who wants her? I don't ban people from Yai. I just punish members of the Creative Council when they allow bad answers. I take away their Yai tokens, and they have to make 10 apology videos. But no, I don't ban anyone from Yai. Which year of VidCon was the most fun for you? This is tricky, because I've been to nine of them. The last one I was at was probably the least fun, just because I felt very old. Honey, do you have a favorite VidCon you've been to? Absolutely not. <laughs> Should've seen that coming. The earlier ones were fun because it wasn't the beast it is today. It really was just a fun, low-key networking event. And now it's Comic-Con. So I guess there's a sweet spot before it got too big, but it was still a fun event. So maybe like 2015? Sure. Purely guessing. Couldn't tell you a thing about it. But I think that was the year hardly anyone pissed in the ball pit. Hollywood Calls says, we gave Fred a shot, might as well, and gives you the budget to make a feature length film. What's it about? It's the social network, but for YouTube. Why haven't we seen that yet? The social network came out 11 years ago. Do you know how much the internet has changed since then? Do you know how much YouTube has changed since then? I do genuinely daydream about a kind of movie where a guy kind of like walks you through who's popular on YouTube, who's not, the culture surrounding it, the constant struggle of trying to keep up with it and everything. Yeah, I want to see the social network, but for YouTube and with almost a Ferris Bueller-esque narrator. I don't have a title for that yet. That's a yai question. Two Nation, do you like Spongebob? I'm ashamed to admit that I did not grow up watching Spongebob. And in fact, I had never seen a full Spongebob episode until like a year or two ago. And I quite liked it. I thought, oh, this is kind of funny. But it took me like, you know, 20 years. Oh shit. Okay. Floyd Lorenz, Jack, I'm about to ask you the most important question of all time. What's your favorite gap from the Tony Hawk games? Oh, damn. There's the lunch tables gap in school too. I think that's what it's called. I like any half pipe gap where you jump off one half pipe and enter the other. I spent hours doing just that, let alone the goals in the game. How about you, honey? What was your favorite gap from the Tony Hawk games? Gap. You just like gap? Gap. 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 Favorite gap. Yeah. <laughs> what a troll. Wake me when they remake Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 4. Can you give us a rundown of your musical background? I remember three years ago, your composition were in part what inspired me to be a composer, and I've always been very curious of your musical origin. Like what got you into it, what inspired you, etc. I've previously talked about a song from the Final Fantasy X soundtrack that I was kind of obsessed with and taught myself on piano. That was a big chunk of my musical origin. But I'll also add this. Listening to boy bands growing up like the Backstreet Boys and NSYNC taught me things like harmonies and like how to layer stuff and chord progressions. School of life is what we call that. 
Is that right, honey? I'm a mere student of the Backstreet Boys, but Aaron is a disciple. But a big chunk of what got me into music and music writing was making videos. For a while, I had strikes on my YouTube channel because of copyrighted claims. So I learned real quick, oh, I guess I gotta write my own music forever. So that was kind of like the motivator for me to figure out how to score and compose music. And to this day, I still use what I used 15 years ago, GarageBand. Not the fanciest, but it gets the job done. Is there any skill or talent you wish you had? I wish I knew how to edit better. I wish I knew things like After Effects. I wish I were better at singing. I wish I were better at piano. I wish I were better at playing piano and singing at the same time. That is something I really struggle with. I, I, I just can't do it. I can't do it. I wish I could play guitar. These are all learnable things, by the way. These aren't impossible. I, I realize as I'm saying these out loud, these aren't impossible dreams. <laughs> but yeah, I wish I could play guitar. And then after that, I, I, I wish I could play guitar and sing at the same time. What else? I wish I had a real job. Honey, what's a talent or skill you wish I had? Listening. Okay. Communicating. Mmm. Caring. I mean, just one's fine. Giving me time. No, we got it. And energy. We got the footage. Being less misogynistic in general. Oh my god. <laughs> Stop trying to cancel me. <laughs> Alright, I'm ending our podcast. That's fine. Ladies and gentlemen, it is time for the final question. I know, I know. Donna Douglas, that's my mom. What? All kidding aside, honey, when exactly do you plan to get a real job? Mom, I already made that joke like one questions ago. Try to keep up, mom. Look, one of these days, YouTube will start paying, okay? Any minute now. Also, mom, I just got an email from a guy who says he's gonna make me rich and all he wants is my social security number. So laugh it up while you can, mom. I think I'm gonna strike it rich. So ask me or Wait, hold on. I have a challenge for you. I'm gonna give you guys all of the raw footage with the shitty audio. And I challenge you to Fix it however you want. Maybe dub new audio in, or put your mouth over my mouth, whatever. I'll even give you those four lost questions. Click the link below to download all of the assets. I've also uploaded all the footage to my second channel if you wanna see it there. In a few weeks, I'll blindly review and grade your edits. If you're submitting your fix via YouTube, please include the hashtag fixask in the title. And if you're uploading via Twitter, please include the same hashtag in the tweet. That's fixask. Fixask. It's fun to say. So ask me your questions and I will ignore them. Cause I'm a jackass. A big fat freaking jackass. New episode of Jackass every Wednesday. Click up here and see the previous episode. Uh, here's a clip. Are you passive a woo or dominant? Oh, whoa. I am over this format of text. <laughs>